All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and today I'm in the house with the Miguel Knives Centurion here with me for a review, and we're gonna analyze the look, the sound, and feel of this bad boy. But first of all, let me say a big thank you to my buddy Brandon for sending this guy along, so I'm able to share this with you. And second, just don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content going on right over here, because we have this Miguel Knife uh, um, Knives uh, Centurion, which is a very interesting one. This is a two. $200 knife made in China and uh it's not a small guy uh, because overall length of this one is going to be 8.65 inches with a almost 5 inch long handle and a 4 inch long blade so not a small boy like in fact if you happen to have uh, something like from Ontario and for example this is Ontario rat number 2 and this is the Ontario rat number 1 you're gonna notice that this guy is bigger than both so not a small one for sure maybe you are a Benchmade fan and you have the Benchmade mini bag out because you like smaller knife yeah this is gonna be bigger maybe you have the bag out because you like uh, bigger bag outs again this is uh, it's going to be pretty pretty uh, smaller than uh, I mean the knife is going to be bigger than both uh, also in the case of uh, Spyrek or Paramilitary 2 uh, this one and Para 3 this guy over here nothing this is still a bigger boy than these two options from Spyrek or maybe you have a small Sebenza 21 and here you have it uh, up against the Sebenza this is the large 31 which is still smaller than that. This is a 3.6 inch long blade. Um, let me just show you another couple options uh, from uh, Custom Knife Factory. This is the FIF20 and this is the Snafu 2.0. Uh, fantastic uh, knives from Custom Knife Factory. And now you can see that this Snafu is just a smidge bigger than that. And the Snafu is not a small guy, but actually this one feels a little bit smaller than that, interestingly. Shirogorov um, Kast, um, Sinkevich collaboration uh, Kami uh, it's in the house like it's in the house the, um, the Koenig knives uh, are used in this uh, pretty cool style 55 let me just show you another couple options pretty popular this is the uh, Hinder knives XM18 and what can I show you guys uh, let me show you this guy over here Shirogorov F95 Antique Pretty gorgeous knife, if you ask me. And another couple cheaper options we have. Uh, this is the uh, Spartan Blades uh, um, Astor. And uh, what do we have here? Ah, let's do this one. That's the Kubi Carve. So a budget knife. Uh, uh, but pretty cool. Another budget knife we have because uh, you guys are requesting some cheaper options. This is the Care Show Atmos. And uh, what else do I have here? Oh, I happen to have this other Care Show over here. So you can see, I mean, it, it's not a, a small knife whatsoever. You get the idea. And this is the Migur Knives Centurion made in China. Uh, titanium frame lock. Uh, it has um, it has an overall nice look uh, when closed uh, with this bolster kind of thing going on and uh, on both sides of course uh, carbon fiber with red uh, accent uh, shredded uh, infused in it it's uh, I have to say it's nicely done um, this carbon fiber I mean it's uh, nicely chamfered all around you can see pretty pretty good uh, you have a slight amount of in internal chamfering for the let's say the liners I mean the scales titanium scales Maybe on this side you can appreciate it better. There is no uh, internal skeletonization for the scales. Uh, that's gonna reflect a little bit on the weight. Uh, you have some nice uh, 3D milling going on. This is not flush, there's some curvature and uh, it, it's well put together, I have to say. Uh, the look is interesting. You have uh, this area over here, which you would assume uh, that uh, for the uh, um, thumb start acting as a stop pin, like for example, in the case of the snafu you see you have the stop pin which is the actual thumb stud there's no internal stop pin in this knife uh, but uh, no that's not the case so this is probably i don't know just a design uh, choice which i'm not 
like super convinced about because it gets the knife uh, to be a little bit sharp on this side and it's not serving at anything so you can just round this guy off and still have the lines uh, following the, the the back of the handle but I mean not a big deal uh, you have uh, a nice uh, finger groove over here which it's gonna allocate comfortably one uh, one finger like the thing the, the index is gonna be pretty pretty good there um, titanium uh, backspacer halfway uh, done I mean it reaches halfway a little bit less than the end uh, of the handle uh, with some jimping going on and some surrounded uh, surrounding jimping uh, to accentuate the grippiness uh, right here on the on the, when you hold it like that yeah of course you're gonna have a nice uh, uh, grippiness uh, added to your palm to the palm of your hand so pretty pretty good um, there is no lanyard option as you can see and this backspacer is just like wrapped all around the heel of the blade of the handle uh, up against here to protect your finger from being snagged on the tip uh, and it's pretty centered so safe and centered tip a hundred percent you've got uh, a pretty pointy I mean it's not chamfered you see it's not sharp but it's like not rounded off uh, as well there's some jimping going on you have an m390 um, engraving right over there and then you can just yeah you can deploy it as a push button it's not this, the most comfortable uh, i would just advise to use the light switch uh, mechanism or just your thumb stud like that or you can do like a, a spidey flick sorry like kind of like maybe like no you can't just you can do the two fingers i i mean i can't like maybe i can't no yeah i can okay it's not like super comfortable uh it's mostly like it's gonna happen like this so just keep that in mind also uh you have a very simple construction as you can see you've got just one pivot uh, screw and uh, two uh, t6 torx bit screws are gonna be required to take off the scales and access the underlying uh, screws which are gonna go through the backspacer to take this guy apart uh, the screws are not protruding pretty flush with the handle also the pivot edge I mean just a little bit sticking out but not a big deal so it's gonna be pretty uh, straightforward to disassemble I'm not gonna do it because this is a loner so I'm not gonna uh, take this guy apart um, also you have on this side a stainless steel lock face insert which is nicely concealed but you can just spot it because of this screw which is giving it away and of course you guessed it it's a uh, um, it has a, an integrated over travel uh, stop uh, bar um, lock bar stabilizer like that so you're not going to be able to uh, overextend uh, this uh, lock bar so pretty pretty straightforward right there um, and then you have uh, um, you have uh, there's no uh, detent ball ramp as you can see you have a little bit of a hard step going on uh, you've got a 3d mil titanium pocket clip uh, tip up carry only not reversible it's just gonna be intended for right-handed user nicely curved uh, there's uh, enough uh, uh, clip ramp over here uh, quite strong uh, clip retention it's it's not too strong but yeah it's still uh, it's gonna be safely uh, attached to your pocket clip to your pocket uh, uh, on your pants 100 so very very good indeed uh, you've got a couple of uh, um, gold anodized pivot collars both sides I mean uh, matching the thumb studs which are dual so uh, there's a lot of things going on for, for being like a what $200 knife I mean there's a lot of things uh, happening in this one especially in the blade I mean guys come on this is m390 steel there's no jimping just like a divot for your thumb which is gonna feel absolutely comfortable guys Really, really cool you have even some chamfering going on right over here right at the side of the dual thumb stud and then uh, you have um, a nice wedge going on right down up to the tip intersects with this flat uh, and you have another ground grind line over here right intersect at the, at the belly which is probably uh, for 50 percent of the overall uh, blade let me just wipe this guy off of the overall blade uh, edge um, and then you have straight edge up to the sharpening choil which also can act as a uh, finger choil if you just use the tip of your finger like that you're gonna have a lot of precision like do you see like uh, uh, clipping like um, pinching sorry like this the blade yeah you can gain a lot of control because fingertip of your thumb and of your index are gonna control the blade 
fantastically just don't do too much advanced because you see like uh, you're gonna risk to uh, get cut because yeah this is sharp up to the edge um, a little bit of chamfering going on around the flipper tab not too crazy but what i love is this plunge grind come on guys look at this super sexy line going on uh, sterile blade uh, looking dual uh, direction bit bi-directional satin finish for the uh for the blade sterile looking i just love it uh, there's a nice uh, mirror edge uh, mirror polished edge uh, put on on this one the grind symmetry is absolutely spotless i don't see any uh, flaws in this blade what i really love about this guy is the closing sound i mean opening sound yeah it's nice it's a deep clack but hear this Ooh, beautiful deep opening sound and nice and clicky high pitched closing sound beautiful guys it's clickety clackety it's it's beautiful it sounds absolutely gorgeous uh, when you close these guys super but <laughs> really really good also um the weight is going to be impacted by the lack of internal chamfering and uh, of course there's some of the size because this is a bigger boy so it's going to be like 5.51 ounces so not super light but nothing too crazy as well um uh, the ergos are just uh, fantastic there's no hot spots i don't feel anything in the hand no sharp edges it feels absolutely beautiful in the hand like that this divot oh perfect for your thumb it's really good guys i mean this is uh it's nicely put together i have to say it feels absolutely solid uh, the, it's a little bit on the slippery side of course there's no texturing going on i feel a little bit my my finger my fingernail can just snag a little bit you can see here and feel it so it's not perfectly flush but i mean it's still uh, pretty good uh, considered the price so fit and finish i would say it's it's good uh, i don't see many gaps going on there's a little bit of i mean not a misalignment but a little bit of lip that can be felt uh, right over here no rattling when closed uh, the blade play is absolutely absent uh if you stick with the uh, light switch uh deployment there's gonna be no uh finger sore whatsoever zero lock stick of course you've got uh, a uh, stainless steel lock face insert uh, and i mean the clip uh, uh ramp is decent uh, there's uh yeah the, also like the retention is it's all right it's not too strong not too weak um this guy is running on uh, bearings and the deployment speed is gonna be superb like really really fast and also like i mean come on guys look at this it's so fun to play with it's so smooth it's it's really a pleasure to uh it's fast i mean it's smooth as soon as you disengage the lock bar you have the blade wanting to go down and look at this i mean really smooth closing action you have like a nice guillotine effect as you put this guy in the vertical position no need to wiggle anything uh nicely uh the detent is nicely tuned in you have a little bit of the tent suction not too crazy of a magnetic effect you are missing a detailed bond detent ball ramp but it's not too crazy the hard step you're gonna encounter so i mean overall this is a very good looking knife uh, premium materials for the price fantastic closing sound beautiful ergos i mean guys this is a pretty solid options uh, if you want to consider this one so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned